Alright, welcome back to another video, and in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to get first place literally every single time on the combating tireware mission in the missions section of this game. And this one was really annoying for me because it took me three tries when I was trying to do it, and really it was just because I was using the wrong car, um, which is the first thing about this. I really recommend using the 4 GT Le Mans Spec 2, I think is what it's called. It's this one with a Ken Miles paint job, of, of course, that uh, definitely gives it more speed, but... This thing's absolutely cracked. It's insane. I'll get more into it in a second, but the first thing that's important about this race is when the rain comes along, and I use racing hards because they're so good. You could maybe use racing mediums, but I just use racing hards because I, I like how they feel. And you can stay on these until the weather gauge, the wetness gauge, sorry, um, is like halfway, and you'll actually get a really good indication of when to pit at first by the AI. I would just follow them in. And so at the start, you can have like a ton of fuel consumption. Like you can be on the, the highest fuel consumption number. And you see I picked intermediate tires here, which is an okay choice of tire. It's not the best, and I'm going to explain why. On intermediates, when the wetness goes into the blue area on the wetness gauge, you will not be able to go above like 115 miles per hour unless like your car will just automatically spin out no matter what. Like you just can't do it. And meanwhile, other AI cars as you see just fly by you. And it's also not good because you can potentially get a yellow flag penalty. Um, as you can see up there, it was lucky that the AI spun around, but there's still a bug in this game where if you pass a car under the yellow flag, it'll give you a massive penalty. And that will also be you. It's not just the AI that are going to spin out. It's also going to be you. And if you're not confident in yourself, being able to recover from spin outs like that pretty quickly, you might have a hard time winning this race because you need to absolutely minimize spin outs at all costs. That's why on this high speed turn, I recommend just staying on the outside and just riding the wall. Like, even in wet tires, I recommend doing that just to absolutely minimize spinouts, because spinouts will just lose you way too much time, and you just won't win the race easily, so... Yeah. Um, luckily for you, even if you do spin out, the AI is dumb, and on wet tires, they will pit for intermediates, because they notice, oh, the bad rain is gone, I'm gonna switch to intermediates. It doesn't really matter though, it doesn't let them go that much quicker, so if you do choose the intermediate tires, just stick with it. As you can see, you're way ahead of the AI when you go into pit again, um, and I actually should have gotten one more lap out of my fuel, I messed that up. You want to run this car around 5 or 6 when it's in the rain for fuel, and also go in intermediate tires again because you'll just need that, and you will, there'll be bad rain again, um, no matter what, but intermediate tires to the end of the race is the right choice. Um, because it's just better, I think, than trying to run racing hards and stay off the, the wetness the whole time, which you can be a little pussy, like I was in the first time I did this, and pit when your tires are a little bit worn down, but you can run these intermediates pretty, like, pretty far down all the way until they're just about completely gone. So you can go to the end of the race with that uh, second pit stop, you don't have to pit again. Um, your fuel will make it. And as you can see, I was about 50, almost a minute ahead of the AI, and I do this sitting thing because obviously they're not gonna catch up, and I didn't wanna go around another lap on bad tires, so I was like, screw it, I'll just wait to the finish line. But as I said before, this is not the best way to do it. There is a better way, and that is by using wet tires um, for the first pit stop and going through the bad rain with wets and then going to intermediate. So you wanna run hards, wets, then intermediates. And so as you can see, the AI are doing the exact same thing. We just follow them into the pits and this time we just choose the wets. And wets are goaded because they have the added benefit of when the rain is absolutely downpouring and being a dumb, you can still drive through it. Like as you can see, it's blue and we go around the turn completely fine. We don't spin out, nothing like that happens. You see nothing. Um, that, granted, that is the only time I spun out in the race, but uh, if you're not dumb like me, you should be fine. And as you can see, as you come out of the tunnel where a lot of AI spin out, or you spin out because you go from the dry tunnel to the wet, it's actually good. Like you can see it's blue. I'm going around the turn fine. And I'm even going above 120 when I exit the turn. So. These tires will be a lot faster when it's really badly raining, and you won't spin out as much, probably. Uh, they will wear a little bit faster than the intermediates once the track does start to dry up, but if you just kind of stay to the wet part of the track, it should be fine. 
Um, really what you got to worry about is the intermediates with that towards the end because it's great with the wets you can run the tank dry um, but that's not the problem with the intermediate tire the intermediate tires running to the end um, I think it is still pretty close yeah it was like 0.6 but the intermediate tires wear so try to stay to the wet part of the track um, to save your tires a little bit but oh my god you will run so much faster like it doesn't even show how far I'm ahead so yeah that's the strat uh, go from racing hards to wets to intermediates and you will win absolutely no problem and this car has amazing pace with this tune um, I did mess with the suspension a little bit to make it a little bit better at not spinning out and being able to handle high speed corners a lot better and that was mostly due to the downforce you can make this car go up to 800 power points instead of the 796 I have it at but it's so much better just to keep it at a full grip build for this this race um, as you can see if I lower the downforce it, to like 570 it goes even above 800 but I just like it so much better it's so much easier to control it's so much quicker with just full downforce so yeah that's about it from me I think um, oh here's a a lap showing you the lines I took too uh, especially when it was dry um, and you can also try to do these lines when it's wet it's really the same thing and honestly a lot of the time you just want to be on the outside of corners of the the high speed ones you don't want to take what the the game shows you as the line um, this turn I kind of had to deal with traffic a little bit you kind of want to do what the the Corvette did where it goes along the outside there but the Ferrari was a little stupid and kind of cut me off but as you can see this thing's so fast even with my terrible cornering I still passed all of them easily and then these you might want to break a little bit earlier than what I did there um, but just try to stay to the inside this one you can go a little bit more to the outside and try to cut back in but I just like hugging the inside as it's easier for me with my scuffed controller trying to do these races um, and really the last corner once again just stay to the outside because if you go on the inside like I don't even break there I just coast in and it just holds it so yeah the game doesn't know the best lines for this race but I do because I'm a gamer and I did this race twice for you guys and you want to see what I got for it oh yeah it's 106 by the way but you want to see what I got for it jack shit so I hope you guys like this but besides my suffering I think that's all I had to talk about so yeah I hope this video helps you guys out helps you beat this quicker than what it took me and if you guys want to see another endurance race and how to do it I'll be glad to help I'll be honest I haven't done any of the other hour-long ones in the missions but it'll happen eventually and I'm sure this thing is great in those races too so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.